away from Canute Bushcraft. Um, just uh, going to do a quick little review. Um, there will be a full review and in the near future. Um, I've not been able to do many videos recently is because of this camera. Um, the sound quality on it, the built-in mic's terrible. I've got about seven vids at home which I just can't upload. It's just horrendous. You can't hear nothing. Um, I need to get an external mic for it. Um, so yeah, a bit gutted. Some of the videos are pretty good, I thought anyway, but it's just no point unless I try and narrate over the top of it. It's just weird, so I'm not going to bother. Um, anyway, this is give you a quick one. Um, basically, what it was, what it is, it's like a couple of years ago. I had a knife. Uh, I bought a knife blank of a knife maker called Chris Grant. I handled it myself. It was the first bushcraft knife that I had. It's still going strong, and you know, it's my main bushcraft knife. Because uh, of the nature of the stuff that I do, coastal stuff, you know, and woodland, canoeing, that kind of thing. Um, over the last couple of years, I've, I've been using various different other tools on coastal areas and stuff like that, you know, uh, multi-tool, that kind of thing. And I basically wanted a knife which had all the features that I wanted from a knife. So um, I put pen to paper. Um, I spoke to Chris, this is you know, going back two years now, and he was saying, you know, about designing something, you know, which suits what I do, you know, like a boat knife, a straight bushcraft knife. And so over the last couple of years, I've just been jotting bits down and really thinking about it, drawing bits and bobs and, you know, discarding it and thinking, oh, hang on a minute, yeah, I'll try this. Finally did it. I, um, I chucked it up and showed Chris. He was interested to make it which is really, really cool, and yeah, so after a few phone calls, once he, I sent the designs up, I made one out of ply as well, just to have some sort of idea what it feels like in the hand. I will upload some pictures of the, um, the designs I did, you know, and the one that I finally sent up, I will upload those, and I'll do a full blog on it on my, uh, my website, but you will see it in full action once I get down on the coast. It's uh, New Year's Day today, so... I'm only out for a short time, you know, for family commitments and all. So, uh, anyway, I'll get on with it. Um, it's not a conventional bushcraft knife, though, you know, I'm not saying this is the ultimate canoe bushcraft knife, you know. This just suits me and it's what I've wanted and, and I just love it, so I just thought I'd share it with you guys. And, uh, yeah, and I'd be interested your, on your comments, you know. So, first off, just a sheath, okay. So this is gonna sort of give a little bit of what you know, or give away a little bit of the design of the actual blade. Um, this is also Chris's work. This lever work. Um, this was actually Chris's idea. So I've got access to this line cutter, which is actually on the blade. Um, it's there's no belt loop. I've got a dangler option, so I can have a, a belt loop clip on my belt so I can clip it on and off if I want to. But I prefer to use a lanyard across the body and I've just ordered some leather to make a nice leather one. So that's the sheath. It's a uh, the old beige tan leather. I mean it's superb. Got to cut the drainage holes at the bottom also I could put a lanyard in that if I like. Um, I've gone for this this option of flipping over the top and you'll see why when I pull the knife out. But, um, so that's the sheath. I mean, you know, it, it's not a massive knife. There's my hand. Look, there we go. Anyway, let's get the bad boy out. Okay, right. Um, I also you know, had to think about the, the what it was going to be made from. It's going to be getting wet and all the rest of it. So I had to sort of think about what you know, what sort of steel it's going to be. If it's going to be carbon or what have you. So. Uh, and due to Chris, his expertise in knife making, um, with this one, uh, we went with the RWL34, which is a stainless steel. So, you know, it prevents, well, it's a bit more durable when it comes to water, stuff like that. Um, the knife scales are Burmese teak. Um, 
much. I mean, it's just absolutely, I'll just give you a little quick shot of an actual overall knife. You can see how odd shape it is and how unconventional it is. You know, this isn't a spoon carving around the fire type bushcraft knife. This is a working coastal camp boat bushcraft knife. That's what I think personally. Well, for me, that is what I need from this knife. And I've got the features that I want on it. <coughs> so, so there's the Burmese teak scales. Um, it's got white styrene liners, which is a nice finish. I've got two holes, lanyard holes, going straight through. And the idea of that is for lashing. I can lash this to a pole if I need, wanted to. Gives me an option for, you know, shallow water spear fishing, that kind of thing, you know. And the, the reason for the top of the sheath is on the back end of the blade. I've gone for this kind of um, chisel stroke prizer. I mean, it's got a dull edge on it, but it's uh, great for shellfish. And uh, I mean, it's a, it's a thousand and one different things I can use that for prizing, getting things open. You know, I can sharpen this up, put an edge on it, use it basically as a chisel and then dull it off when I'm finished and you know I'd get away doing that quite a few times you know so uh, moving down the blade I've got my ferrocene rod striker which I wanted I can stick it in the same place if my hands are cold and what have you it's just going to slot in there you know it's great I just wanted it on there and also looking down on the back of the spine you can see there's a slight dip the idea of that is I've got somewhere I can put a bit of pressure on it because the actual sections of the blade this is a Scandi grind um, this will be my fine edge for fine work pegs stuff like that you know all that sort of campcraft sort of tasks then I've got my serrations which to me is important especially on the coast line cutting rope cutting rope which washed up it's contaminated I don't want to use this edge or this edge of my knife to dull it use the serrations they'll just rip through it cutting plastic bottles up tubs that we find making buckets that kind of stuff for foraging that kind of thing it's just it's just superb it's a great bit of a handy bit of kit the serration I normally had my multi-tool so I'd use the serrated blade on that but it means getting it in and out in and out all the time and also this is um, Scandi and the, the, the really cool thing about this as well is it's all Scandi and when I go to sharpen this I will sharpen the serrations at the same time with just by doing a normal sharpening on a, a Scandi grind method if you like on the stone and also a very important part is the, the line cutter which is you know it's just superb and it works and that's the really cool thing a lot of these things don't work I can use this as a gut hook for fish um, game and if for any reason I do go through waters where I do get entangled with lines and stuff like that I can use this to, to escape that and it, it's just a, a superb tool so there's the uh, the new canoe bushcraft knife that I've been uh, waiting such a long time to <coughs> you know get yeah, it's my new knife I am absolutely over the moon with it but, uh, yeah but no it'd be interesting on your comments like I say I will do a full review actually using it in the field right, one sec oh, sorry about that <coughs> anyway yeah so yeah be interesting to see your comments and uh I'll read your comments on the actual knife. Um, it's around nine inches overall length. The blade's around five. Um, it's quite deep. The depth of the actual blade, if you like. Um, like I say, it's not. Um, it, it won't be everyone's cup of tea. But for what I use it, will be using it for. It's superb. Um, you know. And yeah, I put a lot of thought and effort, well, I put a lot of thought into this knife, what I actually want it for, and it's, you know, it's 
just a superb. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get out there and actually, you know, try it. Actually on the coast, but uh, it's superb. And it all works. The line cut is absolutely phenomenal. It's it's a beast. You know, I've cut um, the, <coughs> that is like one inch like tape webbing. You know, similar to what you get on a rucksack, that kind of stuff. It would just, it would just go through it. So fishing lines and stuff like that, it, you know, it, it would touch it. It would just, it just does it. It's superb, and the serrations are just bloody awesome on rope, plastics, you know, that kind of stuff. <coughs> so yeah, very pleased, and thanks very, you know, thanks very much, Chris, to actually. Get this, you know, make this a reality for uh, something that I've always wanted. So cool. And, uh, well, there we go. Um, like to thank you know subscribers and that and so on and patience for not putting many videos up as, as late. <coughs> but like I said, due to this camera, absolutely rubbish. It's the uh, Camilo X200, I wouldn't bother. Um, the sound on it is absolutely horrendous. Um, the picture quality is alright. Uh, battery life is a bit, a bit pants as well if you've got it on full HD, but I think most of them are, I don't know. I'm not uh, an expert on this sort of stuff. But, um, yeah, <coughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that. There it is. I do have a second one of these in the making, um, and I will be doing a, a pass around to a, a select few people that are into the similar sort of thing that I am where I know it's going to be used near water and stuff um, I, I will uh, contact them people shortly you know um, <coughs> yeah um, you'd be interested to see what other people think of it there we go new bushcraft knife it's just lovely I can't stop putting you know, I can't stop picking it up <laughs> but, um, everyone that's seen it so far has and actually held it have, has really liked it for, for what it is you know it's it's superb so there we go right now I'm out of here quick coffee cigarette now I've got to head back home like you do. This is so peaceful out here. But anyway, cheers and guys, and I uh, hope to do a lot more vids soon. Now, uh, into the 2013, and I wish you all Happy New Year and get out there and be safe. I'll catch you later.